Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use a document camera. This will be a very simplistic tutorial and I'll also be showing you how to connect it to your computer or device that you're using it with. Let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have a very simple Epson document camera and I'm gonna be using this document camera for this demonstration, but you can pretty much use these instructions with the majority of document cameras that you're gonna be able to find because they're all gonna be very similar with regards to how to operate them, how to start them up, how to use them and so forth. So first and foremost, how to connect it to the computer. Well, most document cameras, I would argue almost all document cameras are gonna be connected to computer via a USB port. So, you know, there are many different types of USB ports. Um, this is probably the one that you're used to seeing the most, which is just like sort of like a standard USB port. I don't know what the, what type this is. I can't remember what, what the name of it is, but this is the one that you're also gonna be able to find on some devices like printers, document cameras, uh, many other things that you might connect to a computer. This is also a USB, okay? Just a different version of it. <clears throat> so essentially, you're gonna look for your connection port, your USB connection port on the document camera. In my case, it's right over here. You're gonna plug in a USB cord to that port over there. Now, it's only gonna go in in one direction. So in this one, it is actually shaped, so it only goes in in one orientation. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to plug that in. Now, the other end of that USB cord, you're gonna plug into your computer or whatever device you're using the document camera with. So I would take this and I would plug it in to the computer. So I take this and plug it into the computer. We're gonna imagine that I've plugged it in off camera to computer. Now, in all fairness, there's no computer over here, but we're gonna imagine that I've plugged it in over here. So we're, now that it's been plugged in imaginarily, um, now we've connected it to the computer. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna install the software that you're gonna use for the document camera to work. The document camera needs software to display whatever document you're trying to display on your computer. So install whatever software you choose to install, okay? There are many different options. You're gonna to wanna to choose the software that works best for you, your device, your setup, your situation, and so forth. The next thing that you wanna do is make sure that you've installed the driver for the document camera. This is a device that your computer has to recognize. So you're gonna likely need to install a driver for the document camera. So make sure you install the appropriate driver some computers will do it automatically. Others, you're going to need to find the driver. Make sure you do whatever you need to do to install the driver so the computer can recognize and make use of the document camera. Once you've connected it to the computer by plugging it in with the cord, um, you know, to the actual document camera and to the computer on the other side over here imaginarily, but you're going to do it in real life, obviously. I'm just doing it for pretend on the video. And once you've installed the software and once you've installed the driver, you're ready to use the document camera. Essentially, what you want to do is open it up. Okay, so most likely it's gonna be uh, collapsed like this. You can open it up. In this case, I can extend the arm, pull it up like that and open it up like this. Okay, <clears throat> now your document camera might have a power button on it. In this case, this one doesn't as far as I can remember. Um, if yours has a power button on it, you're gonna wanna power it on. Um, if yours doesn't, like this one, as far as I remember, like I said, then it should automatically power on with, when you start up the software and everything is connected properly. Now. Essentially, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the document camera is stabilized. So I have this little leg right here. Make sure it's stabilized. Make sure you've placed it above the document, okay? And in most document cameras, I'm gonna angle this upwards. In most document cameras, you can extend them so I can get a little bit of a higher perspective by extending it up or keep it nice and low like that. So get into the position, get it into the position that you want it to get into the document camera, okay? Then you're also gonna make use of any buttons that you have. So in this case, if you wanted to zoom in and out, you could push these to zoom in and out over here. You can focus it, you can freeze the frame, you can illuminate it, because if you take a look under here, there are actually these LED uh, lights under here. You can actually rotate the image if that's what you desire. And most of these features are gonna be present on you know most uh, or the majority of document cameras, okay? Very simple. Basically, you're gonna connect it via the cord, you're gonna install the software, you're gonna install the driver, you're gonna open it up, and then you're gonna make use of the actual unit with the buttons and the actual physical position of it to display the document that you wanna display on the computer. And essentially, you're gonna place the document under the field of view of the camera. So right now, if I wanted to display a document, here's the camera right here, I'm gonna place the document right over here. 
and I'm going to use my computer screen to position the document appropriately so you can see exactly what I want you to see with regards to the, you know, making sure the document is nice and straight, illuminated, focused, and so forth. That's it. That is essentially how to use a document camera. These things are absolutely awesome in so many ways. They're so useful. And I just figured that I had this one lying around. So I figured that I would do a tutorial video on how to use it and how to connect it and so forth. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.